first old slash interesting find for the day is a salt or pepper shaker lid. It has grooves on the inside. It's heavy. Like, it almost feels like the weight of lead and it rang in like lead wood. There's no way that you had lead caps for their salt and pepper shakers back in the day. That just doesn't seem right. We cool if it was silver. Let's know if we find anything else good. Pop something out round and it's about the same size. It has the same type of rim of that token I found here before. So I'm gonna toothpick this a little bit and see if I can get anything off the front. I've never found a token like this big with this on it. It says good for five cents at the bar. It has a big five and the cents is in the loop of the five. You can kind of see it there. That's really, really awesome. That looks like one of Harry Roche's tokens as well. I found one last week when I was here. All right, finally got my first old coin for the day. It's just a weedy, but I mean, it was probably five inches down. Mo the weedies I found here are decently old. So I'm gonna toothpick this side and see if I can get a good date. I don't know how well you can see it. It's just a 1944, but maybe there's still some silver out here. I only dug two silver coins here, so. We'll see what happens. Oh, this is an interesting find for me. At first, I thought it was gonna be like a nickel trime or something maybe, but that's a flatty. It's a button of some sort. It's got a little square design on the front. Let me brush that up real quick, hang on. I don't know how well you can see it, but there's like a, a weird tight flower pattern or something on the front. And when I was cleaning it, I broke the back off, so. That's a bummer, but hey, it's still an awesome little button, whatever this thing might be. All right, guys, in this hole, I got a square nail. And this. It is, it's tiny, but I think it's a clay marble of some sort. It's tiny, tiny, but hey, it could be. I don't know. What did I get home to find out? Sorry for the wind noise, but uh, I had a 1246 signal, and that just popped up. I think it's going to be a silver ring. Yeah, maybe. Alright, well, there's no marking on the inside. You can see the old brake, how they used to make the old rings. I can see chipping on it, or like it's been cut or something, but it's like... Still silver underneath, so I don't know if it's silver plated aluminum or if it's that silver is actually solid. I don't, it's kind of light, but it is a small ring. I don't know. All right, I crossed the street just curious if there's anything old over here, and I just popped a disc out. I thought at first it was going to be a weedy, but it's actually it's an Indian. Looks to be in pretty good shape. I think it's 1901, I believe. Still over on this side, and I just popped this out. Move this the back to another weird kind of button. It has some writing on the front. I can't really read it though. I'll have to clean it up when I get home. It has a nice green patina to it. Bump against the base of this tree. And I got me. Looks to be a weedy. It's super crusty. I think it's 1940. That's my second weedy today. <laughs> 